Okay, so we just arrived to our campsite, and you know, since we are camping, I did only want to bring the bare minimal necessities with me. I don't want anyone to go overboard. We shouldn't go overboard. We're not going to go overboard. I do want to note that when you get to your tent, there is no elevator to the top. So just keep that in mind. And that is also why we are only bringing the bare necessities with us. There's not a lot of room in here for one person. Okay, so this is the Disney Treehouse Villa. All right, as soon as you walk in, you can see right here, oh wow. It's a pretty big closet. And then as we pan slowly, we have a table for you and all your friends to play bingo, a chair, and then a log hidden Mickey. And then since there is no electricity here, um, since we are in the middle of nowhere, um, there's no electricity here. Anyway, moving on. Here is the master bedroom. It is perfect. Just wait until you take a look at this. And you know deluxe camping because you have to shower outside. It's not ideal, but we can do it. Porter potty. At least they have toilet paper. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, look at you can see the boats going for Port Orleans. All right, look at the ceiling in here. That is amazing. You could see like the support beams and uh, there's no running water here, so that stinks. And then we're gonna go this way. <gasps> look at this bathroom. I gotta do a water pressure check with the spigot. All right, water pressure check. Honestly, it's like a three out of 10. That's all right, you can see that wonky one. Moving along, here is the other bedroom. Oh, wow. This is the lamp that I actually just made from the tree out in the woods. I crafted it myself and I just stuck it in here. You can see it's still a little wobbly, but it works. That's a real fire up under there. Oh my goodness, I didn't even notice this room. I am so excited. There are bunk beds. Okay, holy, I'm excited. But here we go. Oh. I hope these are crafted very well. They kind of remind me of like a little crib. What did I just say? Just said that. Whoa, hold on a second. They left this here. This is for us to put on the grill later. I am totally doing one of these. And on a serious note, there is a fridge in here. Now you know when you go to day camp, they do try to give you crafts to do. And what Disney has chosen for us to do as our craft for the day, you know how sometimes they do like the tie-dye shirts and um, you know, like camp activities. Um, they have chosen for us to decorate our own cookie and this is actually turning out really, really nice. I was impressed already, hold on. I don't have scissors so I've been cutting everything with a knife. If you do witness me chopping off one of my fingers, have no worries, this is not live. So I already got it taken care of by the time you watch this. One more, we are almost done. This is the final touch. Are you ready? Do you like it? Ready? It's really not that bad. I thought it was gonna be horrible. But we have a lot left. Cut. And 
I really hope you all enjoyed the tour and the craft selection for today. Now we're going to move along to something else. We are probably going to like go through the woods and see where we end up. And then... So for those of you guys who haven't been here in a while, they had this area closed off in the nursery to part in their new plankton for a new species. And um, it's still closed. What for the light? Can't light your fancy. Your mind is more than what your eyes see. So that was just a very short trip to Flower and Garden. I wanted to show off some of the main topiaries and give you guys like a really good sneak peek of it in case you're not gonna be able to make it out. And now we're gonna head back to wherever we're going. No, Magic Kingdom. Now a part of camping is taking hikes in the woods and seeing what kind of things you can find to do. So I think what we're going to do right now is head outside and we're going to just kind of try to isolate ourselves and just hike a little bit and see what we can find. Oh, look at the animals out here. Oh, look at, look at this quick. I just called Miko Flick. Oops. I have missed this song so much. That just made me so happy. It felt so good to hear Vamos again. It like put me just like in the like Vamos mood. I think I see some wild horses out here. I do see wild horses out here. Let's try to get on one. Yeah, missed that whole thing. Oh, no I didn't. I have tamed this one, and I think he shall take me to the watering hole, eh? All right, as much fun as that was, we do need to get back to our tent so we can start the fire, start grilling our dinner, which you're going to be so shocked at what it is, and then we're gonna have dessert. I feel like I did a really bad job. Oh no, the fire went out in this one and I don't have a ladder to climb up there. But anyway, these right here are leaves from outside. They put them onto a piece, like the bark pieces and then warp them to go up there. This is a cubby for the kids. They like to climb up there and play hide and seek. And then these are carved. There's a twig, that's the handle. Um, those are plates. I'm not sure what this is doing in here. It doesn't belong but that's all right. Keep moving along. And I'm trying to give you guys like a better idea of how cool this is. Right there, hold on, there he is. Two men, right there. You see them? I'm not sure what they're doing, but they're looking in here where they're just playing golf. Oh, there's three men. In our room, is next to the swamp, so we may see a gator or two. I'm not sure what else is down there. Probably a lot of mosquito eggs and tadpoles. And I don't know. I'm not sure. But that stick right there. Where is it? Where's my finger? Right there. I'm going to go grab that and make a lamp. And there it is. It took me about 15 minutes maybe. And I was able to run a line through it that has kerosene to keep the fire going. I'm pretty proud of myself. And I constructed that this top right here from my fabric. Oh shoot, that's the light bulb. Later on, we are going to be using this grill and utilizing it to our fullest extent. I will probably have to use these pine cones and these leaves to make it work, but it's all right because I learned a lot of this stuff as a kid because I grew up in the woods, so I have been preparing for this all of my life. All right, so we have made it back. I have dinner in hand that I'm about to grill out for everyone to see. Oh, actually, we're like in a great location because that's the pathway to Saratoga, which looks gorgeous, and I will actually probably walk it tonight. I just have to look out for alligators. Look at that, we got the good old tumbleweed. Okay, I got our tumbleweed, so now we're gonna go grill out and I'll show you guys what we're making. All right, let's see. There we go. We've got, wow, 
We are cooking with gas. Look at that fire. Any minute now, our dinner will be ready. Wow, there it is. All done. I knew that if we cooked it for at least seven minutes, the underside would be really well done. And I personally like my subs to be well done. So let's go up and try it. Wow, that is grilled to perfection if I've ever seen it myself. I'm such a good cook. You should hire me for your next event. <laughs> now, if you guys know me, which most of you don't, you know that I don't hang out with Canyon folk and listen to banjos. So when I'm trying to make s'mores, <laughs> my chocolate actually refreezes in a very non functional way but it doesn't matter because it's all going to taste the same now we're gonna go outside light one of these tumbleweeds on fire and we're gonna make some delicious s'mores okay now obviously now obviously mr. Hershey would be really proud of this it's probably going to make the best s'mores ever and usually when they get this like moldy pattern on them that's when you know it's the best all right I've got my sun bonnet back on which means that we're ready for roasting. Can you hear the wildlife? I can. All right, this is how you make a real tumbleweed fire. This may be dangerous, it probably is. Okay. We really want this to be like, oh, not so close to the edge. Okay, there we go. There, yes, yes, this is, this is excellent. Uh-oh. Why are they all like freaking out right now? I think they're all coming to attack me. No matter. Let's roast our marshmallows on our fork. Now the key to making a perfect marshmallow is, I don't know, but we're gonna do it today. <sighs> oh, those tumbleweeds have got some power to them. Why are they, why do you, they keep lighting on fire? I'm not going for that vibe right now. Like only the tittle, the little toppies are lighting. Do you hear the Port Orleans boat? All right, anyway. Oh shoot, I left my stinking graham cracker up here and it's getting melted. All right, honestly, I'm having a lot of issues right now. So let me try to put the marshmallows that are like melt it on here okay there we go all right this is great now let me see if I can get some light wow have you ever seen such a beautiful s'more in your life probably not probably you won't ever again either Okay, let's take our bite. Pointy first. Best s'more I've ever had. Honest to God. Use your food as your napkin. I wanted to bring this up here in the light. Really nice. And you can't leave your fires burning. Sit off my feet. No, it's not. So, we're gonna go put it out. Now, a real wilderness explorer, which I am a real wilderness explorer. There is a video of it. I think it was about six years ago I became a real wilderness explorer. Knows. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I don't, how I made it this far in life is beyond me. Beautiful. Smokey the Bear would be proud. He would be so proud. He knows that what I do, I do it with all of my heart and soul. Oh, the tumbleweed's out here. Can't leave that. All right, the mosquitoes are in here. All right, see you guys in the morning. All right, it is morning time. We slept great. 
And one thing about me is I am a morning person. Right now it's 4.30 and I usually wake the crew up around like three so that they have plenty of time to get ready for me. I am a huge morning person. I love it and I like to watch the sunrise, which I'm gonna show you guys the sunrise. Great, now we have to go outside and watch the sunrise while we drink this. It looks like we missed the sunrise. Um, it's all right though, you know, and it's only gonna be 90 degrees out today, so we'll see what kind of adventures we can go on. But there is nothing like sitting out here and having your morning coffee and banana. Many people know that I'm very sophisticated and that I was born to do this. There's already golfers out here next to us. I made up a story, it's really not 4 a.m. 7.30. I'm not really a morning person or a night person, I'm just a person. I'm a morning person, but I'm definitely not a night person anymore. I used to be one of those people that would be like, the later it got, the more excited and happy I was. But now I'm like, I believe now I call myself a middayer. Of being up early. I don't have a choice though for work. Then I work a 13 hour shift. I get home. I go straight to bed. Um, my day's off. Crack it on. 4 a.m. My body's like programmed like clockwork. Wake up early every day. Can't sleep in. And then when it's night time, 9 o'clock comes around. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm getting old. What has camping taught me, you ask? A lot. I learned how to survive with no food and no water, no electricity. I learned a lot. Well, I'm a little sad, but Oh my goodness. How on earth do I even do this kind of stuff? Look, I am like literally a maintenance man. Disney hire me for your maintenance team. Now we're cutting through the forest because I have constructed a raft to get us across the riverway to the next side. Oh. Yeah, not there. That is the raft that I have constructed overnight. I worked from 11 o'clock till three o'clock this morning. I even painted it. I don't even think the paint is dry. These two guys here are just test driving it for me. I even put that pirate flag on the front. That was our tent that we stayed in last night, actually. Because when I was sleeping right there in that door, that door right there, I could look out and I saw the boat go by right here. Yep, and now they're already in there cleaning. That's not our room. Never mind, there's towels over the... That one right there is. Yeah, that one is right there. Nope, that's not it either. This one right here is. You know what, I don't know actually. No, it is that one. That one right there really is it. The one at the end. So the first two really weren't it, but that one is. And now we are heading to the marketplace. On a serious note, I really did love that. That was so much fun. And I really didn't know where we were going. And then they are like, this goes to the springs. And I'm like, well, I guess we're going to the springs. You are deformed, I am deformed. And you are ugly, and I am ugly. That was our trip to Disney Springs. So now we're going to get back on our boat and head over to Hollywood Studios. So we've been on this boat for about an hour and a half, two hours, probably. And we uh, just got over to Port Orleans Riverside and I have no idea why or what we're going to do here. The big flower vase is missing that usually is right here in the middle of the room. Like I said, I have no idea what we're doing here. I, um, so far we've done nothing. Like this vlog has been a lot of. Came to Hollywood Studios now to do one thing. Well, um, we gotta go.
Okay, bye guys. I'll see you in maybe like four to five, six months from now. Hope you had fun.